A sea of people filled the National Mall showing support for Israel and condemning a rise in anti-Semitism. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us for DC News Now at 9 o'clock. I'm Chris Flanagan. And I'm Susan Tran filling in for Thasmin Mahfouz. It was just six weeks ago the terrorist group Hamas attacked Israelis, killing 1,400 people and taking roughly 200 hostages. Reporter Mariel Carbone joins us live there at the National Mall. And Mariel, what a difference a couple of hours make. I know there were tens of thousands of people there. You spoke with some folks in the crowd and what did they say this is the goal for them for this rally? Well, Susan, the real goal and takeaway was uh, what you heard chanting there to bring them home, the hostages. Now, uh, all of this happening as we know tensions are rising in the Middle East as that war between Israel and Hamas continues. Flyers like this one hung along the fencing at the National Mall are what remain after tens of thousands of people rallied in support of Israel this afternoon. There was really nowhere else we could have been today. Marnie Mandel and her husband, Ram Nathaniel, evacuated from Tel Aviv, where they lived last month. Our bodies are physically present here. Our minds are still very much there. Mandel says today was an opportunity for connection and support. We wanted to place our bodies amongst the other people that actually would feel a kinship to what we were feeling. March security from police to the National Guard monitored the area while small spray painted messages supporting Gaza and confrontations from counter protesters emphasized the tensions the war between Israel and Hamas is creating. We're seeing a huge surge in anti-Semitism everywhere. We're Nathaniel says it will take time for the dust to settle, but for now um, we have been here to get reinforced by by the community that uh, that we love. We are proud to be Jewish. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Adina Sussman, and, an American um, and Israeli there, citizen, you know. says the focus leaving D.C. is on those who haven't been able to leave. The hostages still held by Hamas. We cannot sleep <laughs> until we know that those hostages have been released from Gaza. And we did reach out to various law enforcement agencies to see if there were any arrests made or any issues out here today. NPD and Capitol Police both tell me no arrests were made. We are still waiting to hear back from Park Police. And Chris and Susan, happening later this week, there is also a pro-Palestine rally. That's planned for Friday outside of Union Station. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Arielle Carbone, DC News Now.